Have you ever wondered how doctors diagnose diseases like cancer by just looking at tiny tissue samples? The secret lies in a technique called microtomy. Today we will explore everything about microtomy, its principles, types, techniques and tricks to ace your MLT exams. By the end of this video, you'll learn what a microtome is and why it's important, different types of microtomes and their uses, the step-by-step -step process of microtome mnemonics to remember key points easily. So if you are an MLT student, histology lover or just curious about the science of tissue sectioning, stay tuned. What is microtomy? Microtomy is the process of cutting extremely thin sections of biological tissues for microscopic examination. These sections are usually between 3 to 5 micrometers mu times thick, which is thinner than a strand of hair. Why do we need thin sections? Imagine trying to read a book, but each page is 10 times thicker than normal. You wouldn't be able to see the words clearly. The same happens if tissue sections are too thick under a microscope. Tissue sectioning is essential in diagnosing. Cancer infections, autoimmune diseases, tissue abnormalities, histopathologists use microtomes to create these thin sections which are then stained and examined under a microscope. Now that we know why microtomes are important, let's talk about the different types. Mnemonic for microtome types, real scientists create ultra-rocking wipes, R, rotary, S, sliding, C, cryostat, U, ultra-microtome, R rocking, V vibrating rotary microtome, the routine workhorse, mnemonic rotate for routine, used for routine histopathology. A wheel rotates moving the tissue block up and down against a stationary knife section thickness 3 to 5 micrometer. Advantages, high precision, suitable for paraffin embedded tissues used in most pathology labs. Disadvantages, not for hard tissues like bone, sliding microtome, for hard tissues Mnemonic slide for strong tissues, used for large and hard tissues, bone, cartilage, tissue block slides horizontally across a stationary knife, section thickness, 10 to 30 micrometer, advantages, cuts hard tissues without damage, disadvantages, bulky, not for thin sections, cryostat microtone for frozen section, mnemonic, cool it quick with cryostat, used for rapid biopsy diagnosis during surgery. Uses liquid nitrogen 80 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius to freeze tissues, then slices them in a chill chamber. Section thickness charred by 10 micrometer. Advantages Ultra fast results within minutes. Disadvantages Can cause freezing artifact. Ultra microtome for electron microscopy mnemonic. Ultra thin for ultra details. Used for electron microscopy. Study of organelles, viruses diamond or glass knife cuts, nanothene sections, 50 to 100 nanometrics, advantages, allows for high resolution imaging disadvantages, expensive complex, rocking microtome for teaching and research mnemonic, rock back and forth four sections, used for teaching and small research projects, tissue rocks back and forth against a fixed blade, section thickness 6 to 10 micrometer, advantages, simple, easy to use, Disadvantages, less precise than rotary microtome, vibrating microtome for fresh tissues, mnemonic, vibrations for viable tissue used for live tissue slicing without fixation, vibrating blade cuts fresh tissue, section thickness 30 to 100 micrometer, advantages, preserves live cell structure, disadvantages, produces thicker sections, Fixation, preserve tissue using formalin. Dehydration, remove water using an alcohol series. Clearing, replace alcohol with xylene bedding. Tissue is embedded in paraffin wax. Sectioning, cutting tissue using a microtome. Staining, using hematoxylin and eosine. HNE mounting, placing the section on a glass slide. Fun fact, paraffin embedded tissues can be stored for years for future diagnosis. If this video helped you, give it a like. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more MLT content.